Hi, good morning, all this is SK. I hope you all did very well yesterday ending up in green. And I hope the videos um, I'm, I have started making for recap, it's going to help you all to understand what I'm, what my thought process is while I'm trading and uh, how this 4-hour chart has a beautiful meaning in our trading uh, to get prepared before the market opens. You know, right now, if you see, you know, like, uh, this is the blue trend line I have added. You know, we tried twice uh, to break this green trend line. And right now, for the bull target, at least we should poke at least for this dotted blue line or this, uh, what do you call, this guy, the blue trend line, you know. We need to, we need to poke through that and then see, you know, uh, uh, how much flush we have uh, from the market right now uh, pre-market we did pre-market if you see we did try uh, to break through but there is no follow through with that and you know right now uh, uh, this trend line this guy here this support here you know like we have this guy here um, a 260 which is you know like the breakout point here where we failed and we got the breakout 2063 is the very very important target which is from here so yesterday we discussed that you know 260 263 is a no zone for us you know like we are preparing for a breakout we are preparing for going long but uh, uh, it's it's not a good uh, position. Uh, it's not a good price action uh, price level to take any swing trades either to the upside or to the downside. So we will not take any trade around this area. So there is a chance we might going to open in this area. Even if it if we are below, you know, I would advise that you know like today at the open it can be a very slow day. Today at open it can be a very confused day, but a bigger picture. What is the bigger picture? Bigger picture is that we should test this guy. So bigger picture is this tail is telling us that you know bulls are buying. Bigger picture is that this was very aggressive. So the bigger picture is that we need to test this. So you know short side is limited. Um, we have to test you know we are very close to the target for the bulls so bulls might go for the target and then short sellers gonna come in and then they start sh selling the hell of this market you know so right now for me it's like more of a more of a uh, 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 we more we have to wait for some few candles 15 30 minute candle after open to see what how bulls and bears are making their decision right now it's indecision you know as strong as this bull candle is as strong as this bear candle is you know after this breakout we should not have seen this because the targets are just above maybe this is just profit takers from the globex market and you know like because because they don't know that you know like market gonna go up or down you know so there is a chance that right now we can we can bounce back here at open we test this today and call it a day you know like yesterday it was a very very small day you know 10 or 11 point day you know so so we need today 15 to 20 point day today or tomorrow you know like um uh it's very very confusing right today even i honestly if you ask me I do not know which side this guy gonna go right now, honestly. But the price action, I know that this trend line needs to be tested. The price action, these tails, you know, this support, this price action is telling me we are going higher now or after market. I don't know. So we should be prepared to uh, to test this. You know, like uh, I would say, it's it's not false to to scale in lower up to this support, which is about uh, either. Uh, 248 or 245 you know like uh, 2045 if you can manage it well it can be a swing trade but but it should not honestly it should not go below our breakout point and breakout point is about 256 stop the 256 this is a buy to go up but again it's a swing trade swing trade probability is 60 to 70 percent it's never going to be high probability you know if, if you're scalping yes it is or if you get a good follow-through with the breakout yes it's a one-sided trade but as of now it's a breakout failed so very confused price action it's uh, uh, this target we have blue target uh, honestly I do not know what how we going to open right now you know like this is not looking prominent and uh, let's see let's see what market have for us you know like if we open let's say we open above uh, 2063 then there we need we will be testing 2070 high of this and then we will get any pause and then we'll break out towards uh, 2076 or this trend line you know so today 
after open our focus should be on these targets either 2063 or the target is 60 let's see where we open right now we are below 60 so I would say do not try to short this market it's a short scalp and swing long for these targets so you know like that's how I'm gonna prepare again it's a short for scalpers and then I'm gonna go long as a swing to test these trend line just add this blue trend line let's see what we have in our oil okay for oil we have this line does not have any meaning now we have poked through this this is a trend line you know for me um, uh, we were here somewhere here you know when I said you know I think we need to test this it's making kind of a head and shoulder as well you know and uh, yesterday there was a block order I'm sorry guys block orders for DWTI you know like that was uh, I think we were somewhere here or here you know when I when I sh uh, emailed you guys that the since morning there are some block orders coming so I believe that you know uh, we need to see some kind of a deeper pullback here you know like a uh, pullback can go up to uh, any of these levels 41 40 39 you know 39 is very very major level where after this we should bounce you know like or the worst case scenario we have this 34 you know so you know let's see uh, how deep the pullback gets you know like as of now it's in a pullback mode as of now this was a breakout support weekly breakout support you know let me take you to the weekly here I mean this you see this is the breakout support you know we tried and we we break out very successfully from here so as of now I think we should test this you know something like like this something like this you know like like this go down and then go for the next leg up so pull back definitely pull back deeper pull back you know like because uh, it's like still uh, the bottom has not been completed you know we are still struggling to complete our bottom and bottom will be completed into a 51 for the next level which is 61 at 61 the bottom will be completed then it's going to be free ride but right now we are we are we are swinging up towards to complete the bottom but the market is like that um, uh, overall conditions are like that that you know like it's taking its own time but right now definitely in a pullback mode right now do there I mean like for being long here I will wait for some time you know like um, it needs to get super aggressive but uh, block orders coming in DWTI shows that you know there can be a sudden pullback there can be we can test 4250 very soon I have been mentioning this target from a way back 4252 it's a high probability target so there is a chance we can test this very soon you know DWTI block orders are coming today I'll check that you know if there are more orders block orders coming you know that means it's it's confirmed that we are getting a, a very very deep ripple back sometimes block order comes and in the evening they close they are just uh, uh, they're just doing a day trade over there you know so you know like let's see what we have here and uh, uh, definitely pull back uh, second week of the month or often it's it's um, it's a it's a uh, uh, position making month you know like in this you do not see much much going on setups fails you know it's too much happening in second week so right now in a pullback mode target is 40 to 50 after that something like this we can see you know then we can uh, open poke through this and then go for the next leg up I am in a bigger picture I'm long I want to go higher I want to see 51 I want to see uh, 61 you know I do have my open position in this you know like which I open and close open and close so yeah, last week I closed so you know right now I'm planning to open my position very soon near 40 to 50 I have that in my mind that I have to open my position so you know like I will be looking for some kind of a long hair but let's see that block orders are a little bit uh, uh, putting me in a doubt that you know is it a good time to open or not I will share with you guys let's see what we have in our ES again so how I would be taking my trade you know like I would be waiting for these guys you know below 60 uh, will I short I will not you know today after this kind of a breakout bulls are strong you know like I think we we have to see this you know this is a breakout test you know this is a breakout test and we need to test this blue trend line so in a bigger picture I'm not too keen 
to shell short, uh, shell uh, short today. I'm more lean towards uh, uh, buying low and selling higher. Maybe I do scalp. I might not do swing because I'm not bullish as of now with, with the market. So, you know, like it's just it's just a target we have for bulls, which is, you know, two beautiful targets close by. So a uh, bigger picture, buy low, sell high. Bigger picture, any short setup is going to be a scalp. It's not going to be a swing trade. Again, it's a probabilities, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy low sell high buy low sell high i think at open it can explode and and we can test this guy today this is my my opinion so this is a swing trade if we open above 2063 nothing stopping we have to we're gonna get uh eight nine ten point swing and we're going to test that but for that we have to uh, go above 2063 so we have to watch this level 2063 above that I look for swing trade overall in a bigger picture I'm looking for anything buying low to test this we need to test these targets these targets need to be tested how many bars I don't know but it needs to be tested and the higher probability is today or tomorrow in this week we have to test that so it's kind of a swing trade here you know with the right stop Thank you guys. Good luck everybody. Let's uh, make some good money today. I'll see you all on my Twitter account. Bye-bye.